हाय एवरीवन जय माता दी लेट्स टॉक अबाउट विजनरी पैकेज स्टूडेंट व्हाट ऑल वीडियोस आर अवेलेबल आउट देयर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ईच एंड एवरी वीडियो इन डिटेल एंड व्हाट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो लेट्स गो टू द वेबसाइट लेट्स लॉग इन गो टू द एनरोल कोर्सेज लेट्स गो टू द विजनरी पैकेज नाउ ओके दिस इज द विजनरी पैकेज ओपन so guys this actually this uh, visionary package has got content of more than 7 hours it can go up to 8 hours and still few of the videos are going to be added very soon so let's just see what all videos we have so in filters i have got this filter theory so guys filters play a very very important role on boardship so let's start the course now so starting the visionary package course let's start with the filters i have got in filters i have got two videos Let me start with the filter theory, guys. In filter theory, I've covered what is a filter, why is a filter used, what kinds of filters are being used, and even discussed a lot of problems that have happened on the filter side. What I have faced, the theory part. What, how does a, how do you define the size of a filter? Now this is here where I am discussing the theory part. Can you see over here? Each, each and everything is important. how do we know whether the filter is clean or not how to clean the filter so these are a few things that have been discussed what is a simplex filter what is a duplex filter how do we change over a filter now guys these are some things that you need to know when you go on ship these are some of the things which you know when you give an interview they sound logical and they are very very important so this video is about that and then i have taken you guys on a practical engineering round because over here no matter how much theory i explain i explain but it's the practical that brings you closer to what you are understanding so this is what is the practical thing doing out here you see so out here i'm showing you different kinds of filters right now just have a look so which kind of filter is this which kind of filter is this and each and every filter has got a small diagram in the down so that you can get in a close up view what kind of filter is this is this a simplex filter how to clean a filter where is the vent located like this is the vent of a lube oil transfer pump filter now let's go up let's go up okay so this is the air line filter fitted over here which is a y type filter so these are a few things that i have shown you guys out here oh this is the main engine lube oil auto backwash filter which cleans itself automatically how does it work why is it fitted this is the lt cooler simplex filter a long one fitted out there that is what is discussed So these videos will show you all kinds of filters that you are going to find on board ship. Now this is a boiler fuel oil pump duplex filter out here fitted. You see how to change over a filter? Ki bhaiya one filter is in use, I have to put another in use. How do you do that? That is being discussed in out here. How to do that? This is something that you need to know, and you might learn it the hard way on ship. Over here it will be in a simple way. So would make great sense. Now this is the filter fitted in the flow meter line. Now over here I am opening up a filter of the incinerator. You see. Can you see? I'm just opening it up and showing you guys how does a filter look like? What does a O-ring look like? What is the role of an O-ring? So this is how a filter look like. How do we clean the filter? From where should the air go? In these all practical things have been discussed over here, so that when you go on ship and even when you are learning stuffs, it makes more sense. It's more logical. It's more rational. So now, this is all about filters. One of the most crucial points when you go on ship, you need to know because you will be cleaning them yourself. Now let's come to the second most important part that is valves. So first I discuss the valve theory guys out here. Ki how does a valve look like? What is a valve and what kinds of valves are there? What's a non-return valve? What's a globe valve? What's a butterfly valve? What's a flap type valve? How do we name a valve? This was the first question coming up. Can you see? So we have made a small script on this as well. So there is a lot of animation involved guys. Let's see. This is a ball valve. how does it operate how does it work what are its functions these questions are even asked in your class for exams not just for gme or marine engineering engineering students if you know this well it is of great importance great use but even in meo class for these questions are asked even on board ship on daily basis people can ask you such kind of questions like this is a needle valve being shown what is the purpose of a needle valve what is the purpose of a globe valve why is it fitted right moving ahead now each and every valve function has been given in detail out here of a butterfly valve of a non return valve these are the 90 degrees rotation butterfly valves fitted what are their uses why are they fitted 
linear motion walls gate walls fitted over here now these are some how are walls operated they are operated by hand they are operated electrically that is solid wall they are operated hydraulically using oil pressure so these are all things that i have discussed in detail showing giving you a practical experience practical know how now these are the type of walls so ball wall advantages disadvantages globe wall advantages disadvantages then it comes to gate wall advantages and disadvantages then it comes to butterfly wall advantages and disadvantages so similarly all the walls advantages disadvantages are swing check wall can you see on board ship there are different systems in use so sea water system fresh water system even the color coding of walls have been discussed over here like sea water system may will be in green in color fresh water system will be in blue in color so that color coding has been discussed this will take you a step notch higher suppose you go on ship and someone asks you and you are able to tell wow what an impression you will make respect on ship matters the most then on what factors does ordering of wall depends if you know this like what see you need to know the type of wall then you need to know <coughs> material of the wall these are the question asked even in your class for exams so this is this is what we are discussing out here how do you order a wall that is by using a book called impa copied so this is the impa book from where we order the walls so a lot of things on walls have been discussed now let's go and take a practical engine round in the second video let's start so out here i am taking you on a practical engine room round where i am going to show you different kinds of walls fitted at different places i am also going to explain to you what does a wall if it is written 5k 50 what does that mean what does if an arrow is there what does that mean so these are a few questions which were asked to me when i was a junior engineer they will be asked to you as well they might be asked in your gma interview or a marine engineering interview they will be asked in your meo class for exam as well you need to know these see what is this importance right so these are the different kinds of wall fitted how can you know that this is a non return wall or not that can be seen is this a butterfly wall how do you know that is, is it for fresh water line or not how do you know that by the color coding this is what is being discussed over here so each and everything types of butterfly walls what how many kinds of butterfly walls are there now this is a huge globe wall fitted in the air line that is on the main air bottle what does 30d and 25 mean why is this arrow given over here right similarly on the other systems on board ship now this is a ball wall fitted now why is the ball wall fitted over here what are the advantages everything is discussed out here i'm just going in fast moment guys now these are pneumatically operated walls these walls are huge you don't want to go down and operate just give a press signal and automatically with the air these walls are going to open and close so these are pneumatic actuators fitted that is what i'm discussing over here so how do we operate big huge walls hydraulically that is also being discussed over here this is a swing check wall fitted how does it work that is also being discussed over a lot of animation has been involved it will surely help you in understanding then case study of a globe wall see uh, as as a chief engineer's experience i've got my fitter along with me and we are discussing what all problems you can face while overhauling a globe wall why does a globe wall become gets damaged and what all precautions you need to take care of So first of all we'll be opening up a globe ball out here. So basically I am overhauling a globe ball out here. I am discussing how the can you make out just by looking at the ball whether it's a non-return globe ball or not. So over here we are opening up a globe ball. We are opening up a non-return ball over here. Just to check the internals. This non-return ball does not have a ball attached to the spindle. You can see over here. So there are the theory part and the practical part is all linked together. Whatever I am explaining you in theory i am also discussing that in practical and showing it to you so that you can visualize it and you know what is the reason why for better understanding just taking it moving it a notch for further we are overhauling a valve along with fitter ji out here that is a globe valve which is already a damaged one why it has got damaged what all we need to check how do we change a gland packing everything has been discussed over here now not wasting much of a time so out here we are i am talking about gland packing i am showing how a bad wall looks like you see so this is a, the wall web opened up i'm discussing about this wall i'm going to show you all the internal parts now let's go to a butterfly wall so out here in this video i'm going to talk about a butterfly wall which need needs to be overhauled in detail what all problems you face how does a butterfly wall look like what all the rubber packing which kind of rubber packing is put over there what rubber packing what material the rubber packing is made up of how is the worm gear arrangement 
see this is a butterfly wall i'll be overhauling this butterfly wall i'll be discussing everything in detail out here so there is a problem with this butterfly wall that needs to be sorted that needs to be discussed this happens in day to day life if you know that you are smart you will be going as an engineer to operate a wall but if you know what is going wrong you can discuss you can come out with a solution that is the best part just not knowing the problem but also having a solution makes you thinking engineer moving ahead so out here I'm, i talked about butterfly wall in detail i have overhauled it i made it okay i have discussed how does a valve indicator look like how do we know whether this valve is open or closed so if you have liked the video and you want to know more about visionary package what kind of videos are available go through the playlist available out here in which you'll find all the videos regarding visionary package go through them and decide make your career bright jai mataji